Hello and welcome to the Manageability video series from MarkLogic University. This episode is Telemetry and the new Relic plugin. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to download and install MarkLogic. You can do so by visiting developer.marklogic.com. In this video, we're going to learn about Telemetry and the new Relic plugin. So first, let's talk about telemetry. The idea behind telemetry is to make it faster and easier for MarkLogic support to assist you in the resolution of issues. How does it do that? By collecting processing details from your cluster and automatically encrypting, packaging, and then transferring those details to a protected and secure location. Now this is disabled by default and you get to decide on the granularity of the data being sent to the MarkLogic support team. So you are in complete control of it and how much is being shared. Even with telemetry enabled, know that no application data is being collected nor sent. Telemetry can be used to collect logs, metering information, and configuration details. Again, you have full control of each of those independently. So you could decide to only collect log messages at debug or above and not collect metering or config details if that's what you wanted. A summary of the current telemetry settings can be found on the support tab in the admin interface. If you are curious about what telemetry data is being collected, you can also use the admin API to retrieve it. The settings for telemetry are in the group configuration. As per the norm in the admin interface, I can either expand the tree on the left or I can click directly in using the link in the summary pane. Now the telemetry entries are down near the bottom. And here are our three telemetry options. As you can see, all three are set to disabled by default. For log level, our telemetry can be set on any level from emergency all the way up to finest. Metering has the ability to collect raw data, hourly summaries, or daily summaries. We're going to go ahead and set it to hourly. Now the configuration data can be collected either frequently or infrequently. When projects are getting started and things are in flux, having it set to frequently will probably make the most sense. But once you have settled into your cluster, you could probably change it to infrequent if you aren't making significant changes at a rapid rate. Remember that you must click the OK button for any of these changes to take effect. A listing of the current telemetry settings can be found on the Support tab in the main screen of the admin interface. Note that if a setting is at disabled or below a recommended detail level that you will have a link directly to the setting available. Now those same details that we saw on the support tab are available by making calls to the admin API. Here you can see the three calls for retrieving the telemetry settings for log level, metering, and configuration. For example, I could retrieve the current telemetry setting for metering.
remember that we went and we changed this from disabled to hourly as we were going through our settings. This will be different if I did log level, which I left at disabled. And there you can see the log level setting. The files created by telemetry will be staged in the MarkLogic data directory, specifically in the stage directory. Inside the stage directory, you will find meters, logs, and config. Remember that this is only telemetry data. No application data is being collected nor transferred. So for example, with the settings that I adjusted earlier, I know that I should have some data in my meters area. Now these details will be transferred automatically to a safe and secure location for MarkLogic support to make use of when you open a ticket. Now for the New Relic plugin. You may already be using New Relic to monitor servers, web and mobile applications, and other aspects of your environment. Now you can add detailed metrics for your MarkLogic installation to the rich monitoring experience of New Relic. With system component information being made available for use in custom dashboards, New Relic allows for real-time health metrics and alerting for MarkLogic and the greater infrastructure environment at large. You can learn more about these topics at docs.marklogic.com. In this episode, you learned about telemetry and the new Relic plugin. To get MarkLogic, download it from developer.marklogic.com. Applicable examples from this episode are available from MarkLogic University's GitHub repository at github.com slash marklogicuniversity. Get more training by visiting marklogic.com slash training. Also, a complete selection of on-demand topics is available at mlu.marklogic.com slash on-demand. Or, download the MarkLogic mobile app, available on both the Apple App Store and Google Play. And don't forget to show off what you've learned. Add MarkLogic as a skill on your LinkedIn profile today. Thank you for watching this MarkLogic University on-demand tutorial.